Uh, I wanted to take a quick look at uh, the Max Taku video. A YouTuber complaining about YouTube's policy changes. What is it? Tuesday? No, but it is serious. Note: This is a serious video. A lot of YouTubers, a lot of VTubers, especially a lot of friends of mine, and a lot of not so friends of mine have gotten banned on YouTube lately. Uh, it's been a little bit crazy, a little bit hectic. I hate the rule changes, and uh, we're gonna be talking about it. Not just because rules are being changed, but because YouTube's rules are not enforced fairly. They never have been. They probably never will be. And I don't think this yeah, video itself will change anything. I just hope it amplifies the voices that are screaming in the darkness. And no, that is true. YouTube's uh, banning system is so fucking inconsistent and has absolutely no fucking rules. Hopefully, maybe, possibly, YouTube could rectify some of the terrible decisions they've been making in regards to enforcing their policies. There are two types of YouTube bans, okay? There is YouTube's copyright section where they will give you copyright yeah. strikes if you violate yeah. the copyright or whatever and then there are the community guideline strikes community guideline strikes can come from all sorts of things whether it's like some guy on youtube if you post some msfw and stay away oh, uh, for 12 days straight uh, which mudahar just covered in a video so uh that got a strike for promoting self-harm uh but community guideline strikes also super often is not just in regards to self-harm or incredibly edgy content but sexual content is super duper yep. under the youtube yep, radar yep, yep. and youtube is trying their very best to nuke that. Other notable cases of community guideline strikes that happens a lot are, you know, misinformation, especially when it's dangerous misinformation. Sneeko oh, made good. a lot of really awful, that disgusting good, comments about raping other content creators and but that's not what got him banned. He got banned for misinformation. Yeah, the YouTube system is weird and it's broken and it'll never be perfect, but we, we, we aim to try. We strive to make the world a better place. As someone that has been abused both by the copyright system and the community guideline system multiple already. times in the past, right. trying to navigate. I want to watch it all, uh, by myself, though. And I do want to see what he's talking about in this case. I don't remember who MXR is. I might skip ahead. We, sh we shall as see. Much as possible, we shall see. I felt like I really wanted to make this video and talk about it with an inside perspective of all the awful nightmare scenarios that a lot of people are going through. Now, I want. Especially because Tiger is one of the band people on youtube so i want to see if he references that want to as preface well by saying if anyone has issues with the youtube copyright system someone is trying to abuse them let's say and bully them into silence with false copyright strikes and trying to get their private information and all that YouTube actually does do a very good job at trying to help them if they get in contact with them if you if <laughs> if they get in contact with them that's the issue if Th that's where the problem lies. I'm a YouTube partner. I don't have any contact to YouTube. I don't have a, co a spo uh, like a contact at YouTube. I'm a YouTube partner now. I'm partnered with YouTube. I'm monetized. I'm monetized. I, I have the full program. I may not have the uh, 100k, but you get the tiny check mark to show that you reached 100k. But I am a YouTube partner. I am monetized. I earn money doing YouTube. And there's like no direct support. There's like nowhere there's anything like contact us here or there. On Twitch, very easy. They have a live chat, which sucks. Like, let's be fair. Twitch support uh, chat sucks ass from my experience anyway. Their email system is, is pretty decent. Their email system is pretty decent. I've gotten quick answers before I was a partner as well. But now that I've been partnered, even quicker answers. So, at least that. I can't take Nox serious anymore when it comes to this stuff. Not that he has said good points. Not that he hasn't said good points. Fair, or fair, someone fair. You know, as having that problem. Try to reach out to me. Maybe I can try my best to put you in contact with people to try to work that out. Uh, good. How about you do that for Tiger? Huh. How about that? How about that? You have some personal contacts at YouTube, huh, Nox? Huh? Contact huh. with them. If you or someone you know is having that problem, try huh. to reach out to me. Maybe I can try my best to put you in contact with people to try to work that sh out. A uh, good friend of mine, best guy ever, recently had his entire channel. Mm, I don't know who that is. Oh, oops. Wrong wrong button. This I, I don't know who this is. Taken Amazon down by YouTube 6, because I don't of know copyright abuse. And uh, we actually worked it out. We got it, we got it back. It worked. I have a lot of people to thank for it, such as Nux and... 
and Mark <laughs> who are here today know. so I can say arigato gozaimasu. When it comes to community guideline violation bans, you're f <laughs> Unless you could stir up some short sort of f storm that'll make YouTube change its mind. I yep. Yep, because they're gonna be like, oh, this is the guideline though. Okay, I'd like a human review. <laughs> human review took, <laughs> took place within <laughs> five minutes. No, no, a human didn't review this. A human did, in fact, not review this. I, there's really nothing you can do because it's completely arbitrary. When it comes to copyright abuse, someone is abusing the copyright system, which is a legal system. So YouTube could maybe potentially step in when, if they recognize that it's being done abusively. When it comes to community guidelines, it is purely up to the whims of the YouTube reviewers, and it is f fucked up. So today, in this video, we're going to be talking about a few friends of mine that got banned due to the community guideline system, where, I, unfortunately, there's nothing that I know of that could be done aside from the storm option, which is why we are going down the storm path, people. First things first, I wanted to talk about my friends, MXR Plays, that recently got banned off YouTube. Uh, they have had a tumble- Oh, I think my chat actually died. I'm sorry. Like, I thought you guys were just really quiet. But no, my, my chat actually just died. Can someone say something in chat? Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I just saw this. Like, since here on the screen it's working. Well, thanks, Garrett. Yeah. Yeah, my, my, my chat window just died for no reason. It just refreshed. Yeah, 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 now you guys are back. So I'm sorry if I didn't see your messages, but the chat was dead for me for like, I don't know, like a solid minute or maybe one and a half or something. was battle with YouTube for a very, very long time. They've gotten so many false strikes and real strikes and fake strikes and shit strikes over the years for a myriad of reasons, from sexual content to promoting abusive practices and all sorts of garbage. YouTube had it out for them for a while. Admittedly, their thumbnail game was very edgy, but what really grinds my- Uh, let's go back there. Let's look at that again. for them for a while. Admittedly, they're th Means record TikTok without knowing what's going on behind them. MXR place. Who's MXR? Like, I've definitely heard that name before, but I don't actually know who that is. Thumbnail game was very edgy. But what really grinds my gears is the final strike that got them banned off the platform was a strike for a clip that YouTube manually approved months earlier that they retroact- <laughs> As said, the manual approving isn't human done most of the times either. It's also just machine. Actively decide. MX on knows Mon Skyrim modding scene. Oh, was it the guy? Uh, what was that? The guy who did who did who did the who had his viewers like talk uh, in 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 like uh, for the NPCs in Skyrim recently? Was that the one? Because that shit was funny. That shit was funny as fuck. The girl's YouTube is still up, I think, but the guy was perma banned. Perma banned. Nope, that's another guy. Okay, I don't know then. I don't know. I did. Nope, this does violate the guidelines and struck them down for that. That was the final strike and that got them banned off the platform. This is a travesty and I'll be linking their Patreon in the description. They're still making content there. But for now, I want to show you the clip of where I found out that they actually got banned off YouTube from my stream and okay. what they actually had to say about it and describe their ban because no one could describe their ban better than they can. So before diving into the VTuber portion of this video, which is a whole other can of worms, uh, I want to look at this. I checked out the channel recently. You saw that MXR Plays is terminated. And uh, yeah, that's true. It is completely gone. We are ba basically officially banned from YouTube. Um, I can no longer operate my other channels, start a new channel, or do anything on YouTube anymore. Same probably goes for me. And probably Genie as well. Actually, Genie, it depends. If the channel's under Henry's name, Genie might be able to get away with it. It really depends but on unless, the whose name it is. Unless they put all their channels under the same really like, AdSense account. But otherwise, Genie might be able to get away with it. Maybe. <sighs> all right, maybe. We got another strike. We got a third strike, and it was on a video that was uploaded almost a year ago. God, I hate that. So they were okay with that video being up. They had approved it. It was on the website for almost a year with no issues. I guess they changed their mind. They changed their rules. Whatever it is, 
they decided to give a strike on it today. Uh, eight days before our first strike. Let me tell you, as I'm saying, the first approval was definitely a machine review. A machine review. And then what likely happened, what likely happened is that someone reported the video so that it got into YouTube's radar again and it was actually reviewed by a human this time around is what I'm thinking happened. I don't know what the clip in question is though, but this would explain why it got approved first and now they say no anymore. It's, it's a stupid system. It's a, such a stupid system. It was gonna fall off. And like, I'm not saying that uh, his clip should have been freaking uh, uh, sniped by YouTube or not. I don't know what the clip is. I'm just trying to uh, explain as to why it first was approved and then suddenly not approved anymore. As to, like, I'm trying to find, like, the logic behind it. So the timing seems absolute. This is awful. <sighs> Where are they going to post an update other than Patreon if YouTube won't let them? Uh, Twitter? To rile up the Twitter people? I feel like that's kind of the only move right now for them. Really impeccable there for something that is extremely uh, not really against the rules. Okay, so the clip was basically for unwanted sexualization or uh, non-consensual touching. Uh, except Yikes. the girl that was being non-consensually touched was smiling through the entire video. And it was uh -huh. also her own video that she had uh? recorded for her Instagram. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, was he reacting they to someone else's clip or what? not consensual touching on, and the girl posted the video herself? Dude, YouTube, YouTube. So here's the thing. I have been saying for this for a while, MXR what? needs to, needed to dial down his, his thumbnail game, and I feel like he, he, his thumbnails were awesome, okay? Henry made fucking kick-ass thumbnails that got clicks and shit, but god damn. On her. Like, uh, they were on YouTube's shit list for a very long time. It's so sad. God damn it. Her Instagram page. And it is also obviously a skit. Uh, yeah, it's probably... Yeah, let's not look at that here. But what I, the, yeah, let's keep that one I blurred. I'm strike for that for sure. Like, I don't even need to think about it. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Dude. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Listen, <laughs> there was a whole ass nipple in there. There it is. There it is. Ugh. So yeah, the video sh never should have gotten originally approved. It went under the radar. It didn't go on the radar. No free nipple for chat. <laughs> oh boy. So the video originally should have never been approved is the issue here. So that's that. I don't know about his other strikes, so can't comment on that. Listen, that wasn't YouTube friendly. Oh man. Oh dude. Like here's the thing. Here's the issue with YouTube. Like you would think that sometimes if you upload a video if you upload <laughs> blood rungs, I'm not uploading this clip. Well, you can upload the clip and just blur it, but uh, or cut it out, whatever you want, or just not upload the clip, whatever you want. Um, but the thing is, uh, when it comes to MXR plays, well, when it comes to YouTube, sometimes you'll upload a clip and then you'll ask YouTube for a review. YouTube will review it and tell you it's okay, and then you'll be like, okay, YouTube okayed it, and then YouTube will realize they made a mistake and give you. Uh, you don't just go and ask YouTube if it's okay. Sometimes videos get auto demonetized for like no real reason. For some reason, man. Like no fucking real reason. Something just triggered the YouTube alarm. A lot, a lot of my videos get auto demonetized. And then I have the menu of review. And then they're monetized. Like all of my videos, all the videos I'm uploading are monetized. All, and most of my videos have the YouTube approval on them. The human approval, quote unquote. I should have posted it on the educational. I don't think she, he would have gotten uh, away with educational either since uh, educational not safe for work streams, quote unquote. 
I also getting sniped at the moment by YouTube. A strike for it. That's awful. Basically, I guess done on YouTube. Obviously, you know. But yeah, I you'll notice. See, this is for multiple reasons. I've dialed back my. Uh... I mean, bro, why you be posting and I had the entire fucking nipple on YouTube? Like, come on, man. I I no, I I, I think that's just stupid. That that's. It's bad, in all honesty. That's his bad. It went on. It, YouTube didn't detect that properly. YouTube didn't detect it properly. Okay? But the guy should have never posted it. Uh, my I miss when YouTube was the Wild West. <laughs> yeah. Fucking degenerate game on YouTube. Partially just because I feel like I, I kind of outgrew that uh, YouTube mindset in a way. Like, I, you know, I've evolved over my time making YouTube videos. My content has changed many times. I feel like I'm, I've kind of put... That's what a lot of you people also said to me and on my comments, that you used to watch his anime stuff, but now he's a lot of times just drama baiting and you kind of just stop watching him. Some of the degenerate shit behind me, <laughs> to some extent. I look back at my old thumbnails and I am like, holy shit, <laughs> what was I doing? Huh. You wear... Hmm, interesting. No wonder I'm shadow banned on YouTube. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> no wonder the main channel's cooked. Right. Yeah, I, I do regret a lot of my old thumbnails. They were definitely stupid of me to use. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, they were dumb. They were stupid. I thought I was, like, towing the line, being edgy, and yeah, dumb. I regret it. <laughs> Mm. Don't know if I can take this, uh, like at, f like at face value. You don't know, don't know, don't know. It was just stupid. If Nux was shadow ban, how would he have a contact at YouTube, right? Like some things just don't really ma add up. Some things just don't really add up. But uh, it was all it was all you're doing all along. I mean, I have no idea. It's not like YouTube will give you a reason. YouTube still, um denies the fact that there is shadow banning which is obviously bullshit um it wasn't dumpus old video and thumbnails were so unique i am thinking what he's trying to address here is the lolly youtube thumbnails that a lot of people have called him out for very much so as of recent again that he's been called out for many times and has been called out again. That's what I'm thinking he's referring to here. Like, he's not exactly saying it. But I think that's what he's referring to. So, uh, yeah. But no, I do, I do regret doing the thumbnail game. Because I'm sure that did contribute. Because there's no doubt in my mind when I look at MXR's channel that they were on the shit list because of the thumbnails. I'm okay he with changed that. him without addressing them, he did. He did, yeah. And I am happy making content there. And I'm kind of tired of YouTube changing the rules, striking old content just out of the blue. And at this point, I'm kind of kind of over it. Like, dude, I'm so tired. Sad. For this, this I do agree, though, that at times that the YouTube just suddenly changes the rules and suddenly on old videos that were okay under the old rules are suddenly not okay anymore. That is absolute fucking BS, and that does happen. In his regards here, questionable for this particular one. I don't 100% believe here that, that, that this case here is a case of they changed the rules. I think it just wasn't human reviewed properly first time around from YouTube, unfortunately. I'm tired of just doing absolutely nothing and then just getting struck for, Bro. for shit that's already Douglas. been on their platform for ages. So yeah, we'll continue making content on Patreon and we are officially probably done with YouTube. And thanks again, everyone on Patreon for... How big was MXR? How big was MXR on YouTube? Like, how many YouTube uh, subs are we talking? Like, I more than likely think that most of their living income came from YouTube. So getting literally deplatformed like this is so bad. 
And it's so scary. Around 2 million? Jesus Christ. Yo, Big G, what's up? Around 2 mil. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Damn. That is... Crazy. Like, they made their entire living off of this, Iron Man. Of it suddenly not having this anymore, like... Practically getting fired in the end! After having done this for years, that that's scary. That is scary. Like, I do... I obviously, like, I, I'm not saying he, he deserved the ban or anything. I do feel bad for him. That's fucking awful. Like, as a content creator, as a YouTuber myself now. <laughs> that, that feels so sad. For supporting us and, you know, making this uh, a lot less stressful and a lot less tough for me because I think we already migrated, like, everybody over. Mm -hmm. So that's, like, our official platform now. <laughs> So that's awful. Yeah. Peace. See, the, the obvious issue with making content only on Patreon is you can't grow on Patreon, right? Like YouTube will uh, introduce you to new people, right? Um, YouTube puts you in front of new eyeballs. So because yeah. your community always shrinks if you leave it alone. If you leave your community alone, your community will shrink just because. Yeah, time, definitely. Like if, if you just don't. Yeah. People will leave, and I've noticed that. that. That's actually a very good point. People just move on at one point. And if you don't keep getting new eyeballs in every day, let's say you make content every day, if you don't keep up that grind, you will fall off. You will fall off. That is true. You need to keep grinding. Like, I used to see other names in the Twitch chat, for example, that just stopped turning um up like yeah it's i should not be seeing them anymore and i'm not saying that i want them to be here like i i'm not saying like uh, i'm entitled to them being here it just it just is what it is so it just goes on people move on and i don't blame anyone i'm like that too i'm like that too i don't blame anyone it just it just is how it is so you gotta keep the cr the grind go going you gotta keep getting new people in she doesn't want us here chat let's go i do want you here but i don't want to feel entitled to your presence kati thank you so much for the follow i don't want to feel entitled to anyone's presence is what i'm saying i want to appreciate every single one of you and i am very appreciative of every single one and of all the ones that keep coming back and all, of all the new people too and of all people that used to be here that are more silent now i appreciate every single one um obviously uh like people that watched me 10 years ago chance to escape. <laughs> no you're in the basement forever oh, probably are not still watching me today and uh if they are probably less of them so I definitely have a lot of dead subscribers on my channel, for example, just by the fact that you have people that- Definitely! Same! Same! When I started this entire YouTube thing out, I started over 300 subscribers because I tried to become a YouTuber a couple years back already. And I think I had like 300, 250 maybe, and those are dead numbers. They're just dead numbers. <laughs> like, I don't think any one of them still watches me. I don't think. If you do, actually comment, please. I would like to see that. Just over time, they grow out of your content, that, which makes a lot of sense. So you're not going to, you can't keep growing on YouTube. You can't keep grow, growing if you're only using your own audience. You can only shrink. So now that they're on Patreon, they have no way to access new people. So their community will over time just shrink yeah. and shrink. And it's a yeah. terrifying mindset. They really need to figure out a way to post content other places. Either either Twitter. focus more on streams. Definitely Twitter. No, definitely Twitter with how Twitter is working now. Twitter is underused in the video stuff. Twitter is actually really underused. You need to monetize like to monetize ads on on Twitter. I I'm not monetized on Twitter. You need to have three million impressions over the past three months to get monetized but there is ad money to be had on twitter it is under 
used. It is very, very, very underused. I should I should honestly stream on Twitter. I've been wanting to put out a stream on Twitter forever to see how it goes. I wouldn't touch Twitter with a 20-foot pole. Yeah, that's you, but that's not to say that there's not a million other people on Twitter. That's not to say that there's not a million other people on Twitter. I haven't been to your streams a month. Just switched to watching on YouTube. That's fair. That's fair. That's completely fine. That is absolutely completely fine too. If you prefer to just watch your YouTube reactions, sure. I have no issue with that. You can do that. Twitter sounds like poison. <laughs> <laughs> Never put all your eggs in one basket. Yeah, that is true. That this is also what Esmond has been saying, right? He's like, if he gets like people have been asking him why doesn't he stream on YouTube? Or why doesn't he do multi-streaming? He said Oh if he's doing multi-streaming and if something happens that gets him banned on Twitch, it will more than likely also get him banned on YouTube. So he's just keeping the option open. You know? And I think that's a very, 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 very smart way of thinking about it. Very smart. Let's move on with the video. With highlights and Patreon? Or uh, focus on posting shit to Twitter or TikTok or something? Like, there's no good alternative. YouTube is obviously the biggest platform. Yeah, yeah, that's awful. definitely, definitely. Oh, I'm so sorry for them. That's so stressful. <sighs> All the years of fighting over that shit. I mean, ultimately, their YouTube journey was definitely a success. Like, they got a billion and a half views on YouTube, too. Just looking Jesus. at their stats. It's so sad. MXR plays, banned. Two right? million. No videos on their channel. But uh, they got a billion and a half views. Wow. That, that's pretty fucking awesome. Like, ultimately, it was a huge success, and they built up a Patreon. And but that I should have a huge amount of savings, too, hopefully. Or maybe they even invested in some money and shit like that, so they have some backup money, hopefully. Like, I really hope that they do have some backup options. That sucks. So they're not just, like, suddenly, like, yeah, unemployed with no money. <laughs> that would did be really, really awful. YouTube guy? I did contact my YouTube guy about it, and he looked into it. Uh, I didn't get too much feedback. Ultimately, I I don't. Like, I, I, I don't want to say that I get why YouTube banned them, but, like... Because I don't think it's fair that their systems will monetize a video and approve it, and then we'll despite suddenly the fact that they the video, they'll give you a strike for it later. It, yeah. I think that fucking sucks. But like, prove the video, they'll give you a strike for it later. I think that fucking sucks. But like, but he this clip, go back there. I would so. never post this on YouTube. <laughs> for example, uh, it's just a sucky yeah, situation. Yeah, uh, having an entire okay. nipple out and pretending there's something unconsensual happening. I don't think that's too. YouTube. <laughs> Wishing them nothing but the best. Good job, past Nux. I'll take it from here. Uh, just to reiterate, apparently the clip that they were banned for was blurred in their video. And I was reacting oh. to where they showed the full clip. Oh, okay. Okay, it was blurred even. Never mind. Never mind. Not blurred, apparently. It was blurred, I don't know. Rick, say what's up. But the up? point is, if YouTube okays it, it should be okay. The idea of going retroactively so YouTube, what is that? Literally, like, what is it? I don't want to watch the clip on stream anyway. I don't want to watch this clip on stream anyway. I don't know if he was streaming this on Twitch or on Kick, you know, since he's recently moved on to Kick streaming too. I don't know. I don't want to risk it. I do want to know or, like, see the clip itself, though. Ugh. Back because... It still might have not been okay for YouTube in the end once a human reviewed it and just the fucking machine manually approved it. It's in time to but strike it's still someone stupid. for this old stuff and stupid. they lose their career over it is insane and inhuman. Something important to note also, if you delete a video, you could still get a strike on the deleted video. On the deleted video? On a video that's not even there? anymore what's the point and you can't appeal the strike anymore because, because the video, doesn't the video is deleted how could you appeal the video to them if the video is deleted L let that sink in you could get a strike on a video that is no longer on the platform and it can't be reviewed because it's not on the platform that is ridiculous what's up y'all guess who that is so fucking ridiculous that's right it's me 
This is either maliciously dumb or impressively negligent. But alas, it is the case. Tangentially, I hate the idea of going back to somebody's old content that was pre-approved by YouTube and taking it down because it violates- Yeah, you should not be able to do that. Like, YouTube system is so screwed. These current day guidelines, I think that sets a terrible precedent to, well, YouTube potentially going around and just whacking anybody because they decided, oh, they don't want drama videos on the platform anymore. Oh, the word fuck? That's a racial slur now going against people that aren't virgins. <laughs> Okay, that doesn't make me laugh. <laughs> okay, okay, that, 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 that was a We're good one. We're retroactively banning anyone that said that. Now, again, kind of on a tangent, a little teeny itty bitty one. I've been making content on YouTube for like 10 years now. I hate a lot of my old content. I think it was not good content. I think the thumbnails I used, which at the time were acceptable because of shock humor crap, Or something okay. that I have grown past and something that I sure people can grow past things that is true people can grow up people can better themselves it's not like people can better themselves that is true I don't do anymore a lot of you may not remember that I used to be a anime community nerd and I loved it there and I love me some good animes and I eventually branched out my content has changed people over time mature, do yes. love me some animes yes, but if yes, you go yes. back in time three four years and you look at the thumbnails of that era in the anime community it's not something I would necessarily put my stamp of approval on today. And you don't need to take my word for it. Look at Joey, the anime man, biggest anime channel on the platform. Look at his thumbnails from three, four years ago, and they are not the same thumbnails that even he is doing today. For whatever that reason, true. that shock culture was around then. Putting, frankly, immoral shit on thumbnails was kind of the name of the game. And you still shouldn't put certain things on thumbnail just because it has shock value in your opinion because it's just gonna attract the people that are attracted to it too and you're still giving the people that you are quote-unquote making fun of that you are quote-unquote not associating with you are still giving them content in form of that thumbnail you are still presenting them with bad things as much as i hate that it was in red but at the same time you don't want to end like idubs where you do mature but alienate people who still like your older content I don't think you would want to alienate people who do like your old content. If people enjoy that old content, sure, go on, enjoy it. You, you do them. Uh, completely saying that, no, you guys are retards for liking my old content is very questionable from his side. Uh, I don't really have a lot of respect left for items either. Like, I didn't watch him too much growing up. And uh, in the past years and whatever, I watched like a handful of his videos. Like some of the content cops were pretty funny, sure. But overall, I wasn't that big of an idubs watcher. And just the recent things he's done in the past years are just like brother. Retro's <laughs> back. You want to call me a hypocrite for changing some of my old thumbnails? That's acceptable. I call it recognizing that you are a bit of a dumbass. <laughs> Mm, only changing it after he got called out for it, though, is questionable. Like... Mm, it's questionable. Questionable. Let's say, benefit of the doubt. Let's play devil's advocate. Let's say, he just kind of didn't think about them and then people have pointed it out. And then he changed that. Sure, but you could have at least addressed it. It would have given you a better um, 
look in the public eye. But judging the worth of someone's character due to errors of their past that they have since tried to rectify is not the same as YouTube judging errors of one's past based on an arbitrary rule system that they've come up to enforce judgment upon the heathens on the platform. If YouTube accepts something as monetizable content and doesn't see it as an issue, it should be grandfathered into the YouTube rules and should not in retrospect be taken down 10 months later and given a community guideline strike because of it moving yeah like with the rules part i i agree with the rules part that if it was okay within the youtube rules and then the rules changed it should not be able to give you a fucking strike or anything like that it should not absolutely not that is so unfair and to a degree inhuman like and like bro who the fuck operates like that that's ridiculous and the f and then there's the part where videos get auto demonetized then you manually review it or like request a manual review and then a machine reviews it and gives it the okay and then someone reports it and looks at it and it wasn't actually okay yeah that's an issue too that's an issue to begin with like i I've, I've talked about this already now um, shit like this shouldn't happen. Like, to have a fucking machine review there to begin with, and then suddenly it's not okay anymore, and to give someone a strike for it, to lose their fucking account, that's just unfair. Have them take the video down, sure. Have them take the fucking video down, but to give them a strike is just fucking unfair. YouTube is so very inconsistent when it comes to implying the rules, whether they create new ones or remove some. Yep, 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 yep. Into VTuber world, I have had a sinking suspicion, and I believe it's basically been confirmed to me at this point, at least subjectively, that VTubers mm -hmm. are not treated in the same way that regular human fleshy YouTubers are. Now, I'm not going to take I can't say much to place and right say now. that you just hate people that are two-dimensional. You're racist against 2D people. No, no, but that was the end of the sentence. I was actually looking into this a while ago and got no definitive evidence and because there's never going to be definitive evidence. However, I spoke to a lot of clippers that specifically clipped VTubers. The strikes and... Okay, but this is this was a clippers issue. Each restrictions on their videos were absolutely mind-boggling. A flesh tuber can say some and we'd be totally fine with it. And then a VTuber will do the same and then for some reason, YouTube will, okay. will count that as sexual okay. content, but will not count the real-life human being that says that as sexual content. Uh, okay, okay, so doing the same shit to it just doing? Lovely. No, if YouTube regards VTubers as, as you know, etchy anime or, like, hentai characters in real life or some shit. Unfortunately, there are some adults who think that all anime shit is just all... Not safe for work. Unfortunately, there are humans. There are adults. There are adults that think anime and VTubing inherently is not safe for work. And that's just so fucking ignorant and stupid and generally retarded, man. Like that, but... VTubers are definitely given the short end of the stick when it comes to sexual content, especially when it comes to short clips. That's because so if you take because a one is, minute yeah. clip of uh, someone saying something sussy wussy, then you got 100% of the video sussy wussy content, and you know, you don't want YouTube to just say, oh, that's a degenerate, we're taking that down immediately. Which I believe is actually the case for a lot of VTubers, and VTuber clippers especially can attest to this. I spoke to Cooksey, I spoke to a bunch of other VTuber clippers, everyone suffers from the same issue, crazy age well restrictions damn. and strikes. Now, a friend of mine, well Shy damn. Lily, her clip channel on YouTube... Are they really friends? Are they friends, or are they friends in the <laughs> he's friends with Jaden kind of situation? I don't know. I don't know. He was recently taken down, um, which is insane, uh, because why the f*** would it be taken down? Why would you take down her clip channel, but her actual YouTube... Uh, because... The, um, it, the reason given was YouTube's latest rule. Which was that he doesn't own the content. We, we looked at this. We looked at this before, chat. ...channel, which is highlights of her streams, 
is not taken down. But the clip channel, which is really short and usually sussy wussy clips, that gets taken down. That's gonzo. That violates the guidelines. Sexual content. Yeah, it's over. Now, Shy Lily is not some small creator. They There's got not the someone channel that back, hate though. brigade sent against her to rash report her. Shy Lily is a unanimously loved, incredibly wholesome content yes. creator. Not A bit loot. A bit very loot. Just because she has a blowhole. But for some reason, the clip channel was still removed. That sucks, and I really would like it to be back. Despite the storm that Shy Lily it, it has been back. causing on Twitter and everyone's How been talking about it. How old is this video? For some reason, you... Like, he uploaded this, what, the other day? Like, this section is old. The clip channel has been back for, what, now, a week? He uploaded this, like, two days ago. The clip channel has been up for, like, a week or so already. It's been back for quite a while. YouTube just turns a deaf ear and blind eye to the situation and just doesn't budge because YouTube just doesn't need to budge. They are a soulless corporate entity and will never ever decide to do something that they decided already not. Why should they change their mind on something if they could simply just dick you over and not change their mind to do that? Now, finally, I would like to address the elephant in the room. I want to talk Hi. about the very wrongful termination of Bungo Taiga's YouTube channel and why I okay. think spreading the word for him to get reinstated is very important important. First, we must talk okay. backstory. In July 2022, Taiga was accused of <gasps> grooming, pedophilia, abusing his mods, racism, transphobia, asking for the lewds of a 17-year-old when he was 19, and commissioning Shota Hentai, which is lolly porn of little anime boys, and being inappropriate with his community in regards to the Shota stuff. Now, this isn't a Bungo Taiga video. I'm just trying to set the stage so you understand basically the story here. But after these accusations dropped, Taiga left the internet for about five months, and I was on a video with Charlie where we were talking about corporate VTuber drama like the Hololive dramas and the Niji dramas before the Niji dramas really went nuclear. And when he asked me about Taiga, I said, I don't know the full story, but apparently he's a pedo. I was wildly irresponsible making a claim like that, as there was not sufficient evidence for that sh The DMs that were leaked were not of that sh and two months later, Taiga was exonerated of the grooming allegations by a private eye that he hired, and I he didn't. made a huge f up He didn't without... hire him. Uh, Taiga didn't hire the private investigator. The private investigator um, wanted to investigate Taiga based on the original doc published, and then he saw, wait, there's no grounds for any of this, and most of the shit is just either made up or just straight up lies, or yeah, just taken out of context at times. And then he went to contact Tiger and told him that. So no, Tiger did not hire the private investigator. The private investigator did actually initially want to like make investigation on the PDF. <laughs> file claims. Hyperbole, this was the biggest mistake of my career, and I am deeply, deeply sorry for spreading this information his... and for causing any undue yeah. hate to be sent Tyga's way. I am okay. I'm sorry for how I handled that. I'm sorry for how I said it. I have tried to do better since then, and I will continue to try to do better in the future. Anywho, I immediately apologized to Tyga privately, as well as cut that portion out of the video. I uh, added a pin comment explaining my mistake. There was something going on with the pin comment. I I don't remember exactly. Like something with the pin comment was that it wasn't pinned then afterwards anymore, and that I I, I don't know the ex uh, full story. I also apologized again publicly on our podcast in the first ten. We talked about that podcast, which I you can't really call that an apology. Only apologist after getting caught. Yeah, that true. Also true. Also true. Also the apology. You can't really say you did a proper public apology if it wasn't on your channel where the claims were made and the section wasn't even properly dedicated to any of this and the other people in the podcast were like, the hell is he talking about? Let's just keep it going. And especially... The people that watch his channel don't necessarily watch the podcast. The podcast has like 200k uh, subs and his channel had a million. So yeah. Minutes of an episode, which by the way, got way more views than the video where I... When he, when he went to edit the pinned comment, YouTube removed it. This was a YouTube issue. So I don't know if this is the same thing 
as it was before or if YouTube changed it in the past. But when I pinned a comment that I made myself, when I pinned a comment that I made myself and then edited that pinned comment, it stayed pinned. When I pinned someone else's comment and, ed and their person edited it, it got unpinned. So I don't know if they changed that or not. Midge originally peddled the false allegation. Maybe not sub count wise, but relevancy wise, the Some Ordinary Podcast was my biggest platform. I'll play the clip here because somehow. I don't think that's people true. People don't know this exists. Uh, and I, I regret it because he, he, you know, I don't know if it's true. He ended up coming right. back with some sort of response. I don't know, this guy Bungo Taiga, and yeah. I, I apologized to him privately that that I even alleged something like that. And, like, because a friend told me. And I believed him. I feel like it's so fucking disingenuous of um, Nox in the situation of even bringing it up. Like, why don't you just say, I fucked up. And I'm sorry. Why are you trying to defend yourself still here? Why are you out here still saying, yeah, okay, but I did apologize, and I did apologize, though. I did it, though, where the issue wasn't that you didn't apologize. The issue was in the way you apologized. I, I, I think it's pretty disingenuous of him. Every time this topic came up, I apologized, be it in streams or videos, as I really do. On a stream, on a kick stream where he had barely any viewers. Try to take accountability when I screw up. Two years later, in the present day, it seems like the public narrative is, I never apologize publicly. This is untrue. It also is that I refuse to talk about this, and I'm sweeping it under the rug. This is you also untrue. Kind of but also, though. in the wake of Taiga getting banned, people on YouTube seem to be blaming me for his unjust ban. I feel like the majority of people are not blaming, are not solely blaming Nox. Nox is definitely playing a huge part in it though definitely a huge part in it because he contributed to the bad image of that tiger has had for years he definitely contributed to to it which is why which people to this day to this day by the way still believe that tiger is a pdf file just saying. We've seen the comments on Twitter. We've seen them live. I've showed them live the other day. Totally untrue as well. I think Taiga believes his channel was banned due to being mass reported by people harassing him. And I think that that is what I believe too, that he was unjustly uh, reported uh, and banned off of YouTube due to mass report, uh, reportation, due to mass reports which were not just by one person. Like, yes, the fucking stalker went out of his way to fucking report a lot of fucking shit, but there, 100% there were people other than the fucking stalker that reported Tiger's account. And to be saying that mass reports don't cause bans? Sorry, Alara and Hex Juice, but that's just so disingenuous. That he think most of that harassment is coming from me. I very much don't believe either of those two things are the case. Wait, wait, let's go back 10 seconds, sorry. He reported by people harassing him. And I think that he thinks most of that harassment is coming from me. I very much don't believe either of those two things. It is definitely a huge part of it. It's not him personally. It's not him personally. But it's in the sense that he is partially responsible for it because he... He defamed Tiger in the end. In the end, it was defamation. Like, in the end, it's just defamation, or am I wrong? Are the case. First of all, I don't think that after two years of a tangential mention, mention of Tiger, which I f***ed up, and I admit I f***ed up, and I am sorry for the... Plus, the retraction of that statement, and the apologies that I've made. But I don't people think haven't my seen. audience harassing Tiger. It is. <laughs> it is. I'm sorry, Nox, but it is. I have them in my comments. I have them in my comments. I have them in my own comments where Nox fanboys are defending and Nox to 
to the death in the end, to their own death, and I saying bad things about Tiger. I'm still saying that Tiger is a PDF file. It's it's because they didn't see your apology because it wasn't on the main channel and the pinned comment wasn't there because it got deepened and you publicly apologized on a stream that no one watches right now and second of all i spoke to people at youtube about bans due to mass reporting specifically they told me direct mass reporting channels does not get them banned under any circumstances it may put them under a microscope to be reviewed by youtube reviewers and then for youtube reviewers to decide about yeah, I'm sure YouTube would admit to their own flaws. I'm sure YouTube would admit to their own flaws. Yeah, I'm sure. Out ...whether the channel should be banned or not, for whatever reason, but the mass reporting does not incite the ban. There are a lot more cases of a lot more prominent and hated content creators that are still on YouTube, and quite frankly, maybe shouldn't be. So I saw some sussy wussy clips of Taiga floating around, which is why I personally believe that it probably was a termination due to sexual content, especially because it lines very, very well. What I think about all of this was the stalker was the actual pedo. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. And one of the stalkers, he had two stalkers, if I'm not mistaken, was freaking grooming Tiger. Up with all these other VTubers that are literally getting ass blasted by YouTube for sexual content, like Shy Lily's clip channel. Do you know that a lot of debuts? And Shy Lily's clip channel didn't get blasted for sexual content. I got blasted because the person didn't own the content. Because YouTube uh, had put out a new policy as in... Uh, as in... Sorry, brain fart. As in people cannot post something that they don't own kind of situation. Put them under a microscope, sure, but the issue is that it is an automated system. Yes, exactly. YouTube has had this conversation for what it feels like for nearly a decade now. Yep, 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 yep. I love how he's like, I'm sorry, but actually, yeah. And then gives a bunch of reasons why he's actually innocent. Like, bro, like, just say you're fucking sorry and stop it. Like, if someone is actually sorry, bro, if someone is actually sorry, they don't go out and try to justify their actions. I'm sorry, but it's just not that. Like, if you've ever genuinely apologized, you don't go out there and try to justify why you did something. You say you fucked up. And you will try to improve. And that either you didn't mean what you did do, or you grew from it and realized now that it was shit. You don't try to fucking justify your actions. For Hololive and Niji Sanji end up getting their accounts locked for- Yeah, because they didn't own the content. It was a new policy. Sexual content? In the VTuber agency Mythos, uh, Apollo and Hades, two content creators there, each we talked had about sexual this content in the past. community guideline strikes on their channels for bull reasons, doing content that does already exist on YouTube, yet theirs got the strikes. Unfortunately- Yeah, theirs got their strikes because it wasn't on the sexual content. I should stop repeating myself in every sentence where he says it, but here it keeps repeating the same shit too. Really, I think YouTube is very much dialing up its awful banning policies across the board, and I think VTubers are heavily caught in this crossfire. If anyone at YouTube sees this, I really do wish you would take a better look at how you approach VTubers and creators that have already gotten their videos approved by the monetization teams in the past. I think you should reinstate MXR Plays, Bungo Taiga, and Shy Lily Clips. I don't know, maybe this approach will help. It's just, I've been seeing this happen to so many people uh, so much recently, and frankly, it fucking sucks. Mm, could have been worse. Could have been worse, to be honest. Could have been worse. A lot of things that he's gotten wrong. A lot of things where uh, questionable trying to excuse himself. Overall, the apology feels a bit disingenuous, as I said. Mm. That needed the ukulele. He probably should have used the ukulele, yeah. Oh boy. Well.
Yeah, that that's my opinion. Felt a little bit disingenuous. Overall, he he is right. YouTube does have a giant fucking issue. Like overall, in the grand like scheme of things, there is a fucking issue. Yeah, this was recorded before certain developments, so I apologize if some info in a few days uh, is a few days old, but the point stands. I hope MXR and Tiger the channel spec, and I apologize for not giving the Tiger topic a dedicated spot on this channel earlier. You still didn't give it a dedicated spot. Like, I don't think this was a dedicated spot. He literally said that it isn't, like, a, a pure dedicated spot. That he just wants to bring it up in this video because it's on topic. I'll probably elaborate on stream on updates and shows. Oh well. <laughs>